Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Navigation tabs are an important part of any website, allowing your visitors to easily find the information they are looking for. If you are using Webly to build your website, you will want to make sure your navigation tabs are organized and easy to use. In this video, we will show you how to edit navigation tabs on Webly, including how to add, remove and reorder tabs and how to customize the appearance of your navigation menu as well. So, without no further talking, let's get started with this. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, first thing first, and as always, I will need you to go to the URL section on your browser. So simply go ahead and go to this section over here or in the middle. So let's go. Here search for Wibbly. And from here, just click on the first website that will be appearing for you, which is this one. So let's go to it. And simply as you can see, create your website through here. So click on create your website. And they will take you to that page. Here you just have to sign up. Simply, you have to put your first name, last name, and some simple creation of account steps. So let's do that real quick. Here, Lori, he love, and you just fill everything else by yourself. So email, uh, email, and hit password. And as you see now, I have created the account successfully. Click on here to add a number to protect your account no more, or else you can just click on rewrite me later. So let's do this, and continue to Squarespace, or to Square. Now let's wait a little bit and they took us back here for some reason. So let's do that once more. I have no idea what is this bug about, but let's do that. So as you can see, all right, this is really bug as you can see. Let me just do this again. All right, here as you can see, I want a personal website. So let's try Webly website. And here you are going to select a theme. So as you can see here, simply just choose a theme that will be fitting your kind of business or portfolio, whatever it is. So here you will find multiple kinds of themes that will fit multiple kinds of domains from business, portfolio, personal, events, blog, and here you will find some coming soon. So it will be, well, it's not available for now, and then others. So for example, for a blog, you will have these kinds of templates, events, these kind of templates, personal as well, and the same go for portfolio. And you may say that there are some limited amount of templates that you can use. Well, yeah, this is the case because you have the free version. So let's keep going with this free version and let's choose this one. Here you have to choose and pick the kind of um, the template that you'd like. So let's choose this one, I guess. Um, I will go for another one actually. So, okay, let's go for this one and let's click on it. And they go to start editing through here. Like that, we have went into the actual website. We have created it, we do have everything ready. So basically the navigation tab is going to be over here in the header which are commonly these three lines as you can see here so as you want to see you'll find here the standard pages and all other pages that they might be in the navigation tab so now let me just click on the header and here you'll find navigation first of all sometimes it will be invisible to make it on to make it visible as you can see it on my screen you have to turn it on from here so let's make it invisible once as you can see it has been disappeared but if i did turn it on it will disappear or it will be visible i mean so now you can add here or edit navigation links let's start with that okay so let's click here and you'll find all the navigation links possibly for like you can possibly find here so let me just click over it you'll find home and shop all so let me just go back to there as you can see here and in case I wanted to remove something I can click here 
and it will be removed in other case when I want to add a navigation link I can click here and link to a standard page or whatever kind of page you just have to pick what kind of page you'd like to have it there is standard category item shop story store story page external link file link and much more and then go to standard page and choose create a new page after that give it a name so we can name it for example test and then click on save now as you can see it has been added to the list we can move it to the top and it will be in the top so we have reordered the navigation links here if I clicked on something like that let me just move this once more um, as you can see here I have added it to be a sub menu what does it mean now if I clicked here they will drop up a list which has the navigation links that you have added. let's make a new one and let's add more so here we go save and I'm going to add it as well so now there will be two kinds of lists so there is this one and the test one here if you'd like to remove it from here you can remove it as well and you can even like edit it later on as you can see you can edit everything in here so as you see here now if you'd like to add the sub link in another way you can really add it in a simple way without removing it you just have to go for example let's add a navigation link and let's name this page news so let's name it news and then let's click on save now let's create a new one and let's name it uh, sports so here and sports save as you can see if you don't like to add it directly like that to be a sub menu you can just click on add sub navigation link from here if you did that click here to link to standard page and select sports from here and click on save as you can see sports has been added and it is now a sub menu of news if I click here you will find it over there and like that we just have to remove this and it will be shish here you can change the color of the text so let's change it for example to something else let's make it in the colors here you can make it for example to black and white something like that you can change it to whatever you like so let's keep it like that for now because I like it as it is and let's go now to the icons so let me just pack once more navigation and navigation links yeah so here we finished with that we finished with editing everything so here you can edit the icons add buttons in here you can add even icons so cards icon if you'd like to hide it or not uh, you can add search icon and much more and finally here you can customize you can add a background of your liking or you can add like an image let's add an image from our PC for example this one and choose and done and you must find it like in the menu uh, I don't think it's loaded really well and let me just check it real quick customize navigation everything is working background image add image this one done alright is it visible now yep it is visible now as you can see it is has been added to the header where the menu is so these are different situation and different things that you can do to your navigation bar so you can make it better have more information about you and give an identity for the website so guys that was completely it about this video thanks a lot for watching till now if you have any questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will make sure to answer all of your problems and if if there was any kind of problem that was really really complicated i will make sure to make a whole new video about it so thank you guys for watching once more and see you guys in the next tutorial